Alright, so every morning I would wake up around 7 a.m. or earlier the closer I got to test day. Then I'd brush my teeth, wash my face, shower, and do any of the things that most people do before they get started with their day. Then I would head upstairs to eat breakfast and I usually had a bowl of oatmeal and I'd throw in some peanut butter, some cinnamon, some chia seeds, and just really kickstart that metabolism. So I'd eat that and relax for a little bit while I was eating and then pretty much jump right into two blocks of U-World. So the first block I would do completely mixed and then I would do two separate blocks of 20 questions based on the material from first aid I'd been going over the previous days. And you'll see how I study first aid a little bit later in this video. Once I finished taking the tests, I'd move over to our massive dining room table to go through my incorrects and questions that I got right or guessed on and any other concepts I came across in the URL descriptions that weren't already clear to me. So I had a specific notebook and process for taking these notes. While I would read through most of the full descriptions to get a big picture look at each concept, I would actually only write down one to three lines about the main point in my notebook, plus the first aid page and UWorld question number. For example, INH is converted to its active metabolite via catalase peroxidase. Resistance occurs via underexpression mutations of CAT-G. And I review these notes later on, and every time I review one block of questions, I'd put a tick mark beside it so that I could keep track of what I'd already gone through. And I tried to get through each block at least two times and usually three. So by the time I got through my QBank tests and taking notes from them, it was lunchtime. And I always left to get some fresh air and usually went to McDonald's for some caffeine and Subway for a sandwich. Other days I'd walk to the Starbucks nearby. Um, the whole point was just to get out of the house and feed myself without having to make my own food. I was fortunate enough to be able to buy my lunch on most days. Four weeks out, it gets a little hectic, so this was just what worked for me. So I'd get home, eat, watch some YouTube videos, and then jump right back into studying. So the afternoons consisted of about four to five hours of reviewing my year old notebook notes and studying first aid. I would start by just looking at the first word of each line and then seeing what I could remember about that topic from the morning. Then I would review and memorize each of my points until I was certain everything stuck. After I got through the morning notes, then I'd do the same thing for the previous day's notes, and then if I had time, I'd do another random day's notes. So this was really key in solidifying the concepts I learned from UWorld. And next when I say I read first aid, I mean reading and memorizing the tiny little details, and that's really what bump you off of any type of plateau that you have because the details make a huge difference when you have a lot of them memorized. So I should also mention that I use the Pomodoro method to study. I would study for 45 minutes and then take a timed 10 minute break once my alarm went off. And I also did this when I went over my UWorld notes at the table in the morning. And taking breaks every 45 minutes was what made it possible to study for so many hours in a day, so I can't emphasize how important that is while you study for step one. And finally, around 7 to 8 p.m., I would stop for the day so I could have a few hours to myself before getting ready for bed. And I usually just spent the evenings doing mindless activities because after 10 or 8 or 9 or 10 hours of studying, you are a little brain dead. So on the odd occasion, I would exercise, but I was a lot better at that before I got to the one month mark. And I would also advise you to meal prep. That is one thing that I did that saved a lot of valuable study time because I had a bunch of chicken and veggies prepared for the week so I didn't have to waste an hour cooking dinner. And you can make whatever you want, obviously, so. Next, I'm a pretty big stickler for sleep, so by 10 p.m. I was already getting ready for bed. I usually read for a bit, said my prayers, did the usual, and I would have my eyes shut before 11 p.m. And that's it guys, I hope that it gave you some insight into how I spent the last four weeks prepping for step one. Nothing crazy, not too many resources, just simple and effective. And I'm gonna film a Q&A video answering any other questions you might have. So leave a comment here or on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, and I will answer it in my next video.